Hi, Hiram here. Earlier I did a video where I used a burner that I got from Colorado Camper. This is what he calls an open jet stove. Now I put the pot stand back in because I was taking pictures for... I've had people asking me for closer pictures of the stoves that I test. So I'm going to start uploading them to Flickr. I'll leave an address down below for you to go and look at them. But anyway, uh, I did a test using this where I first when I had it flat on the bottom, then the second time I lifted it up some and did another test. came out with a slower boil time, but the fuel lasted longer. Then I had Briar Goat Killer suggest that maybe I try Colorado Camper's chimney stove. I'm glad to see that people are going to look at Colorado Camper stuff because he's got some really nice videos. But anyway, so I thought I'd give this a try today on doing another video. And again, I'll lift this up just a little bit, maybe more with something like this because this is a taller stove than that. Uh, I had another question from Campfire52 asking me how do I get the stove down inside the uh, Swiss Ranger Volcano stove. My ham hocks, of course, don't fit into this. So what I do, what I did rather, was I just use a pair of needle nose pliers. Put the alcohol in the burner, grab the burner, and then just put it down into the uh, into the Swiss Volcano. Now I just grabbed a pair off my table here. I could have just as easily used my Leatherman, which I always carry with me. That would work the same way for loading it down in there. Unfortunately, I have ham hocks for hands. If I had normal hands, I could probably just reach it down in there. So what I'll do now is I'll prep my alcohol and my water, and I'll be right back to try this uh, chimney stove that I got from Colorado Camper. Be right back. Okay, I've got my water prepped. My methanol is in here. Let me light this. Now the thing was, this burner doesn't hold quite a, a fluid ounce. It's a little more than half of a fluid ounce, so we'll see what happens here. So that's one cup of water starting at 60 degrees in the open chimney stove from Colorado Camper. Let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 41 seconds, 5 minutes 41, okay so that was one cup of water starting at 60 degrees, I think that's what it was, came to a boil in 5 minutes and 41 seconds, not a better time. Now part of the problem might be, I think I showed you on, hopefully on camera two, these air holes that are on the bottom of the burner are supposed to be intake holes, but the uh, flames look like they're trying to come out of here, so I think that might mean that there's not enough air for this. Uh, let's see what happens. Now it's still burning. Let's see what happens if I try to light the jets. Uh, nothing... I can see that there's air coming out. It deflects the flame. Maybe you can see it on this one. See how it's pushing the flame out. So there's hot air coming out, but nothing's lighting on this one. Okay, it just ran out at 6 minutes, let's say 6 minutes 50 seconds. The thing with that is uh, there was only a little more than a fluid ounce of methanol in this. Any higher any more put into it and it flowed out the holes. When this first started and the alcohol or methanol heated up and expanded, I had it so close here as far as full that it started coming out of the hole a little bit and flaring up. So it doesn't kind of doesn't look like the chimney stove works too well in this. 
Chimney stove's a good stove, but I guess this would just be too tight of a windscreen using the the Swiss Ranger Volcano stove as a windscreen here. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, good idea from Briar Goat Killer, but I'm not sure if that's a good I good if it works good enough. I mean, it worked for about a half ounce of fluid. Yeah, half ounce of uh, fluid ounce of methanol. I think I'm breathing too many fumes here. <clears throat> It got one cup of water to boil in five minutes. This ranger stove is meant to be used out in the bush, just burning wood and stuff in here. I should do that sometime on video. Uh, I've done it. It's not a whole lot of fun. Really makes a mess of things, but it does work. Just trying to use an alcohol stove in here just doesn't seem to be the best idea. Okay, what I'll do is I took pictures of these stoves. I'll try to get them into Flickr, and like I said, I'll put a, an address down below if you want to go look at them. I thank you for watching. I thank Briar Goat Killa for his suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.